Antarctica, the coldest, driest, and windiest continent on Earth, is perhaps the unlikely home not only to a freshwater lake, but the largest subglacial lake to exist in our world, and buried more than two miles under the thick, unyielding nature of the icy continent, this lake has been protected and hidden from the world for at least 15 million years. First theorized by Russian scientist Peter Kropotkin at the end of the 19th century, Kropotkin proposed that tremendous pressure exerted by the cumulative mass of thousands of vertical meters of ice could generate heat. Therefore, increasing the temperature of the lowest portions of the ice so much that it would melt. However, it was not until 1959 that geographer Andre Kapitza, who believed that a subglacial lake existed in the region and with the use of data collected from his research, which incorporated the seismic surroundings to measure the thickness of the ice sheet, Kapitza was able to strengthen his statement. However, the subglacial lake continued to act peculiarly. In the 1970s, British scientists conducting airborne ice-penetrating radar surveys discovered something unusual. The results detected readings that implied fresh water existed below. It was not until 1991 that Russian and British scientists worked together to confirm what had been rumored for decades. Not only was a subglacial lake discovered, the lake possesses at least 22 cavities of liquid water, averaging at 10 kilometers each. Surviving an environment supersaturated with nitrogen and oxygen, researchers have determined that the trapped lake underneath has tides. Depending on the position of the sun and the moon, the confined elements rises about 12 millimeters and the geothermal heat that is compressed together allows this lake to maintain a temperature of minus three degrees Celsius. By 2012, humans had finally reached Lake Vostok by drilling 3,770 meters down to its surface. A Russian team was able to obtain water samples so as to collect more data pertaining to the lake. Inspection of these samples contained the most unique bacteria DNA that had ever existed. Never before had scientists come into contact with such life forms as those found in Lake Vostok. Analysis of these life forms determined that the ecosystem survived as a result of chemicals in the rocks rather than sunlight. This discovery has not only informed experts as to how life can be created without the power of the sun, but it could allow scientists to understand more about the existence of extraterrestrial life. Unfortunately, the results were contaminated as a result of the fluid used to benefit the drilling mixing with the samples. In order to confirm without a doubt the factual potential of Lake Vostok, a second attempt took place on the 25th of January, 2015. Vladimir Likinkov and Nikolay Vasilise of the National Mineral Resources University, who led the expedition, stated that after penetrating the surface of the ice, the team allowed the water to rise through the borehole and then freeze. From this frozen sample, the team were able to collect data of this mysterious alien world that lived under our feet. But what could exist in such conditions? The lack of sunlight means that whatever is down there has thrived in a world completely different to our own, meaning they perhaps have more in common with extraterrestrial life than this bacteria's modern counterpart. Opinion, however, remains divided. One argument status is based on the first drilling test in 1991 and the data collected which discovered sequences of genes of 1,623 species. Therefore, this hypothesis concludes that the inhabitants are that of extremely complex creatures, even fish or crustaceans. The opposing argument discounts this theory, 
using the results of specialists from the Petersburg Institute of Nuclear Physics of the Russian Academy of Sciences, this argument points out that 14% of the genes discovered did not relate to any other known species. According to Russian scientist Sergei Bulat, this DNA is so unlike anything else that if it were found on Mars, they would undoubtedly say that this is life from Mars, although this is terrestrial DNA. What has been discovered by humans within Lake Vostok is minimal, and we may never know the full extent of what life has been like for the organisms that have thrived in this icy oasis. If we were to continue to come in contact with it, we may never see a world such as the one created underneath Vostok, but a few years ago, we didn't consider the existence of such an environment. Only time will tell what Vostok will reveal about our world and its past. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share.